up, YouTube? This is Sea Dog, and I'm back with another Transformers review. This time it's Transformers Masterpiece MP28 Cybertron Cavalier Hot Rodimus, or as we know in the USA, uh, the USA uh, Hot Rod. Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, this guy's awesome. He's got some nice chrome. He looks just like the Transformers the movie, the 1986 movie. He's got the chrome pipes on the sides of his car mode. He's got the jet boosters or whatever these were in the cartoon. Looking nice. He's got the nice spoiler, two-tone colored. The flames. He's got translucent clear lights. Translucent plastic for clear lights with some nice details in there, in the middle. Very nice. Nice colored. He's painted. Very nice toy. Very, very cool. And he comes with some accessories. So uh, he comes with this gun. I'll show you more in robot mode. But and he also comes with this gun. Nice paint. It's like a kind of a purplish gray almost. He comes with this uh, saw blade that he had in the movie. It's attached to his arm. I'll show you that as well if I have time. And he comes with the fishing pole just like in the movie. So yeah. He can pull this thing up. And he comes with a little, little plug right there. And then you take the weapons and you each one of them, both of them do it. And you can flip down the handle. And I'm not sure how this works. Um, huh. Because it would have to... Uh, uh, maybe you have to flip... Shoot, hold on a second, guys. Yeah, this one works. Okay. Maybe just one of them does it. Basically, you can flip this back... And then you can attach it like this. So he's got weapons. He also has a, attachment points right here and here that he can attach the guns as well on either side. All right, so let's get transforming this guy. All right, to transform him, I'm going to put the spoiler or the engine block down. To transform him, you want to start with the arms right here. And there's a couple peg points right here. Let's see if we can get the lights over here, right? As you can see in the background, there's this box. Anyway, so you want to detach it right here, and you push it down by this elbow joint on each side. So you kind of detach it right in this. See that little tab right there in that slot? Like that, and just get it like that. All right, next thing you want to do is... You want to um, you want to take out on these hinges right here. These are uh, on hinges. You want to take his arms down a little bit, and you want to take this. And there's a tab right here and a slot right there, and you tab it like that, just like that. All right. Next thing we want to do is we want to work on the head. So come on, head. Hold on a second. Let me get the head situated. There we go. So we want to flip the head in like this. And and we want to make sure. So we, we take the arms out like this. The way I do it is I turn the arms out first. And then you put these parts. Oops, let me get this. Adjust it up. These parts go back like that. So you can take his arm out like this and then turn it down, push the arm back like this, and then use the, the bicep swivel to um, to uh, facilitate his arms in the correct positions. Next, there's a hinge on here, and you want to take the hinge out. Oh yeah, and then you want to pull these back. So these go back after you pull the hinge out. But if you see, there's a double hinge it goes out like this and then after the hinge you can situate the head you can lock these parts down let me see if I can get this a little higher there we go you can lock these parts down right here and they just fit down underneath like that and for now we just leave the hinges hanging out like that 
All right, next we want to work on the back of the car mode. So this whole part right here comes up. Oh wait, first we want, oops, I almost, first we want this part to go into the cavity right like that. So, um, so we want to make sure it's like something like that. All right, so that's flattened like that, and this is like that. Okay, all right, so next time you want to take this and you flip it up, then what you do is you flip this down, flip this down, those are those jet boosters, then this ta untabs from there, see that little tab and slot? They both come in like this, like that, then this will flip down, and then there's a couple pegs, you see the pegs right there, and a couple slots uh, in the back, right, let's see if you can see, right in there, and in there. Those tab in like that, and then on top, there's a peg right there and a slot right there, and you peg it together like so. Now we're getting there. Now the only other thing to do, you can leave his arms out so he has this arm movement here, or you can take these plugs and plug it into the side of the windows here. So we'll do that. All right. All right. So now these to clip down and stay down at that point. Next thing you want to do is you want to come back here and you want to open up the back here. So you split this open and you take this and you open it to the inside. I guess go from the top to the inside. Then you want to do a combiner wars kind of leg movement where you slide it all the way down. And then you take that slot in that purple thing and you slot it in the back of that leg slot right there. Then that fills out his leg. You pull the foot down and you have the foot hinge like that. Same thing on the other side. You extend it on a double hinge. It goes down on a double hinge. That goes to the back. You want to make sure that the knee joint is bent right. This slots and clips in just like I showed you before and the foot comes down. Now you just pull that back up like this and the only thing left is his, is his arms or his hands. So you pull open this and then you flip out his hands like so closing that and you leave this one shut just so I can show you. Now let me get this situated just so I can just so we can um, let's see if we've got the lights and stuff. There. This should be good enough. Alright. It's going to be a little tricky here. Just give me a second. Get this to stand. Alright, there we go. Alright. So, next thing you want to do, oh, we wanted to show you, so, you see that little hole, and you can just plug it on, like so, and that gives him his, uh, blade. So this is pretty much hot rod, and then you can just detach it, and you flip out the hand like this again. Close it up, and this is Masterpiece Hot Rod, or as they call them in... Japan hot rodimus. Uh, so he's got really good articulation. So for the bottom, you have this flip. You can flip this up and the sides of the hinges up, so you can do a full splits. He can f kick his foot all the way up and most of the way. He can actually, I think, yeah, this flips back, so he can kick it back. He's got that upper bicep swivel or upper thigh swivel. He's got double jointed knees. He's got foot rock forward and back, and he's got ankle tilts. He's got a waist swivel, I believe. Yep. He's also got an ab crunch. It goes a little back and quite a bit far forward. And that's, I'll show you that in a minute after I situate the camera again. Oh yeah, I forgot. You have to swivel this up so he has his, his spoiler on the up, up side. He's also got, if you dig catch this, he's got inward arm movement so he can pull it across the front of his um, chest. 
or you can just keep it attached in and keep it locked in. And then he's also got he's got a swivel here for arm for a bicep swivel kind of thing. He can go out to the side. He go front to back. And go all the way around. He's also got a bicep swivel here. He's also got a bend in the elbow, 90 degrees. He's got wrists rotation. He's got hands that open up and down. His head will look straight up. So that's cool. Or almost straight up. So that's awesome. He'll look down. That's really cool. And he'll tilt side to side. Oops, get that to stay down like that. And I believe that's all the posability for just actual posability. Then there's some poses I can show off. Um, to, to do his glasses, you open up his helmet, and then you carefully bring this glasses forward and put them like that. And there he's got his glasses that he had in the movie. Oops. See that? It's translucent plastic, really cool. All right, so he can definitely, he, he's very posable. And uh, just, I'm gonna bring this back down to show you some poses that he can do. He can do uh, the knee sitting pose. So he stands on his knees, whoops, like this. So like he does in the, in the show, he also can facilitate a Indian style pose. Well, you, cl you close up some of his feet, and then you have him like this. And then you facilitate the bicep swivels, and he can hold the fishing pole that way. Oops, and lift him up. And see, like that. And then you can put the fishing pole in his, arm, in his hand, and you can fish. So that's pretty cool. He does fish um, in the movie. And last but not least, he can arm him up with his weapons. So he's got the little plugs on the side. Oh, sorry. That's the gun mode, or the car mode. Then he flip it down the handle. He's got those little plugs. Go in an angle. And sit in that little groove. He's got one gun. For the next one, open up his hand. See, there's a little groove in there. Flip down the handle. It's from car mode to bot mode and uh, just like that close up his hands make sure it's plugged in there nice and he's got double toting gun fire just like Hot Rod did this is probably my favorite masterpiece car masterpiece that it is to date and it comes with a nice uh, booklet as you can see in the background here it's a nice color pictures and whatnot. Here, I'll flip that open then I'll show you. It's got instructions on one side and on the other. It's got all this stuff. So that's really cool. And um, you know he comes with this fishing pole and his thing like I showed you. If you've got something to say leave it in the comment sections below. If you like the video, please leave a like, subscribe for more Transformers and action figure reviews, and share with your friends, and we'll catch you next time, guys. Peace. Choo, 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 choo.